Because of our poor eating habits and our lack of activity in our lives, we are becoming less and less sensitive to our own insulin, which is now referred to as the metabolic syndrome or prediabetes. Nearly half of the adult population and around a third of our children are in some stage of insulin resistance. This slide is a graph that was brought into my office by a pharmaceutical rep, which illustrates this problem very clearly. This illustration shows about 25 years of an individual's life and what really happens to you when you become insulin resistant. However, you just don't wake up one day and have insulin resistance. It takes 10 to 15 years of poor lifestyles before you eventually tip over into insulin resistance, which is represented in this illustration by the orange line. Once this happens, the body compensates for this situation by producing more and more insulin as represented by the green line. As your blood insulin levels rise to compensate for this insulin resistance, your blood pressure goes up, your good or HDL cholesterol goes down, your triglyceride levels, that other fat in the blood, goes up. You start gaining an unusual amount of weight around your middle and your arteries begin aging much faster than they should. However, as long as the green line is able to parallel the orange line, your blood sugars, which are represented by the blue line, remain normal. However, over time, the body just can't keep making that much insulin, and after 10 to 15 years in this pre-diabetic state, the blood insulin levels begin to drop, and there goes your blood sugars eventually rising into that diabetic range. Physicians traditionally just pay attention to our blood sugars and only become concerned once your blood sugar begins to rise. By the time I or any physician diagnose a patient as becoming diabetic in their office, 60% already have major cardiovascular disease because they have had this accelerated aging of their arteries going on for 10 to 15 years before they become diabetic. This is the main reason 80% of our diabetic patients die prematurely from what is referred to as a cardiovascular event, like a heart attack or stroke. Now this was true in 1970 and is still true today in spite of all of our new medication and treatments for diabetes. In 2008, the American Association and the American College of Endocrinology, these are the diabetes specialists in the US, presented a consensus opinion and are now encouraging physicians to treat prediabetes as aggressively as we do diabetes. They reviewed the worldwide medical literature and concluded that the best treatment is intensive lifestyle changes. Since it is poor lifestyles that got us into this situation in the first place, it only makes sense that healthy lifestyles that actually improve insulin sensitivity can get us out of this problem. Not only does this insulin resistance lead to diabetes, but those individuals who have underlying insulin resistance just can't lose weight. In fact, they hold on to fat like a sponge holds on to water. This is why RX's weight management system not only accelerates weight loss, but also encourages you to firmly establish these new healthier lifestyles that will not only help you maintain your healthy weight permanently, but also improve your insulin sensitivity.